Weather certainly wasn't bad for the beach at all today, if you could find one that was open. Vanessa Murdoch back now with your full forecast. And Vanessa, it really changed a lot after yesterday. I know. It was such a good relief to see the sun today, to have those temperatures warming up. And now, as we are moments away from the Macy's 4th of July fireworks celebration, well, it is gorgeous out there. Skies are mostly clear over the city, 71 degrees. Winds are out of the south, southeast at 7. Across the region, I hope you're enjoying a great July 4th. As far as your headlines go, it was a nice holiday today, but even better tomorrow with lesser chances for passing showers and storms. We did have some today, and we are going to heat things back up in quite summer-like fashion. Tomorrow, 81, so not a big difference in the temperature department, but Tuesday, the number spikes to 90. And it will feel more like 100 because humidity levels will be increasing over the next few days as well. As far as rain chances go, still a 10% chance out there tonight. We have a few showers on the grid at the moment. Tomorrow, Tuesday, 10% chance. That's it. Wednesday, late, 40% chance. And Thursday into Friday, we're tracking potential impacts from what is now Tropical Storm Elsa. As we look at the humidity trend, notice that tomorrow is really it, folks. It's just going to skyrocket. Up to the oppressive uh, level and stay there through week's end. So I hope you enjoyed this respite from the humidity because it is wrapping up. At the moment, a few spotty showers out there. Nothing major, hopefully not affecting those fireworks celebrations. And we have a chance for a few more showers passing by tonight. But generally speaking, improving conditions into your Monday as high pressure continues to take its control over the region. And then we will be watching Elsa for impacts later in the the week right now. Current conditions 60 mile per hour sustained winds. The storm is moving northwest at 15 miles per hour. Will begin affecting Florida tomorrow. And then as it makes its turn in the northeasterly direction, there is potential impacts here at home. We're going to zoom in, show you that Thursday late into Friday is when impacts are most likely. This is the cone of uncertainty. So the center line of the storm could pass anywhere all the way right over the Garden State and also all the way out into the open Atlantic at the very very least, we expect a moisture surge with Elsa. That is why Thursday and Friday will at least be soggy, if not also windy and a little bit rough out of the open waters. That we can certainly expect as well. We'll keep an eye on this for you, but note that the week's end is where those impacts are expected. Not tomorrow for the final day of your extended holiday weekend. 81, mostly sunny, a little stickier for sure. Winds will be out of the southeast at 5 to 10. If you have plans to hit the beach tomorrow, moderate risk, rip current, South Shore, Long Island. Low risk down shore. And then keeping in mind Tuesday, highs will be in the low to mid 90s. It will feel more like the triple digits for most of us. Here's a look at that extended forecast 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday. All eyes will be on Elsa here at home. Jessica, back to you. All right. Thanks, Vanessa.